touch that five for you. I do that three four times again. I testify for you. I told that lie. Hello, my girls. Welcome and welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome also if you're new and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family i am going to collab with i want to say their name is am chef it is called am chef ames am chef instant manual slow juicer so it's a slow juicer so it, it's slow but we're gonna see how it works like you do like a little brush i guess to clean like the bristles or the the blades off, they give you a little brush the top of it. So this is the little thing that you push it down with. They give you two glasses of two different sizes. I'll let you guys know what sizes they are. This is the actual motor for the juicer. And it is called M's Chef. Or I'm assuming that they mean Amazing Chef. That's what I'm assuming, I think. I don't know y'all, don't give me. So yeah, it sticks to your counter. Y'all heard it pop. Okay, you guys, I did not show you that. The blade is in here in this top part. And uh, it comes apart from this bottom part. I didn't tell you that, but there we go. It locks into place. So they they also give you like a little recipe thing where you could uh, you can scan this on the back. And it's 90 recipes for slow juicer. So you can make you 90 different juice cocktails do not moisten the base or splash water on the base was that this part no that's that's this part y'all don't 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 moisten this don't put water on it this is the base that's the base um it's 120 volt 180 watts 60 hz i don't even know what hz means y'all tell me in the comments not our base over here over yonder and put that there oh okay so this cup is to collect the pulp ha see i tricked y'all y'all didn't know that huh i didn't either okay you guys so let me show y'all because now uh, now that we read there's this little thing in here at the bottom i didn't even need to take that out but there's this little plug at the bottom to where your pulp so i'm gonna put that back on y'all like so like that we're gonna put this back on here seems very simple it has a um on and off button and then there's a, a r button i don't know what the r is for what's the so i'm gonna get my fruit and vegetables ready y'all this video shouldn't even be as long as i'm making it okay i'm gonna get my, my fruit my fruit and veggies you know you need a lot that's why i really think i don't uh care the juice even though once my doctor told me my doctor the nutritionist lady told me that juicing is not good for you and it could be a lie you know that different strokes are different folks if the doctors will tell you anything they think you want to hear so i got three you know when you juice you need a lot of um uh, <laughs> you need a lot of fruit and vegetables to get so stuff it takes like some. Sorry about the little glare. My light is this the lights in this place suck. The lighting is horrible. Um I could have got my ring light, but I don't feel like bringing it down the stairs. But I got some spinach. I got some apples. Okay, you guys. So I have my apples cut up. My apples. I'm gonna put those in there. I don't know how many you can put. I'ma just try to put as many as I can fit in there for right now. And I have my little cuties cut up. We're gonna put that in there for right now. My apples are in here. Apples. And I filled it up. There's an apple and there's one mandarin orange in here. So I'll turn this on just so that you guys can see it. Um, see the apples go down there. And then I'll t put you guys back down so that you guys can see the juice go inside of here and the pulp come out the side of here. Um, And when they said slow, they meant slow. Because it's going definitely slow. Mm -hmm. So you can see the pulp coming out here and the juice is coming out there. I'm not going to get much juice from the little bit of fruit that I got in here. 
But when they say slow, they definitely mean slow. It's going pretty slow. I've had juicers to where you put the stuff in there and it moves really quickly, like it can juice like in seconds. Um, so when they said slow, they actually mean slow. And out of the, this is the amount of juice that I got thus far, which is 200 milligrams. I won't say it's milligrams, y'all, I don't know. Milligrams, milliliters, it doesn't say on that thing what, how many ounces or milligrams, milliliters is in this here cup, what the cup is. Uh, I'm going to check again, just in case. I don't want to lie. Okay, so it tells you not to put mangoes, plums, peaches, or sugar cane in here. If the machine comes to a halt during your normal operation, hold and press the reverse button for about three seconds to loosen the, the agar and food, and then press the on button to continue juicing. So if you put any of those hard foods like mango, mango to me is not hard. Hopefully nobody's putting a mango in there with the core inside of it, but a mango to me is not a hard type of thing. You can turn on the feeding um, cover, turn up the feeding cover, and put some small and medium sized apples and tomatoes in the feeding. So you can put apples, so apples are not, it's not bad for you to put apples in, but that's not what we was looking for. We was looking for what size the cup is, what is the measurement on the, the cup. Um, it's, oh, and you guys remember I was, we was trying to see if it was dishwasher safe. It is not dishwasher safe. Do not use a Brillo pad on it to clean it. Um, so you pretty much want to use that brush to clean off any of the blades in it that they give you with, with like some soap and water, warm water. Don't put it in the dishwasher. Make sure you don't do that. Y'all, let's continue. I don't see what size it says the cup is. This. I don't know if it's milligrams or milliliters, milli or liters or meters or kilometers or kilometers. I know it ain't kilometers. I know that's like driving. Seven. Yeah, it doesn't say what size juice cup is, but it got 700 on it. I'm assuming that's milligrams, milliliters or something. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to turn it back on so we can see, but I'll be back, y'all, after I juice it. I'm going to juice a little more so you guys can see, but... When they say slow juicer, they meant it. I'm going to add some spinach. Okay, so when you open this top, it turns off. So you can't leave that open when you juice it. So when you open that top, it automatically cuts off. So we're gonna put some spinach in here. Hopefully it juices this spinach. We're gonna see. Okay guys, what I can say is to juice spinach, you probably want to put like your bigger items on the bottom, put some spinach in the middle or put the spinach on the bottom, put your bigger items on top so you can push it down because it's not really taking much of the spinach in there. It's getting it, but it's not really like getting it in there because I should have put it on the bottom so that the heavier things can push it down. So that if that's what, if you want to do spinach, I would say put it in and push it down and put something heavy on top of it. I've already, um, but even when I put the um, the oranges on it, in it, the little mandarin oranges, cuties, whatever you want to call them, they, um, they suck to the bottom so it didn't stay on top. So it'd probably be best if you put the spinach on all the way to the bottom where the blade is and then put your um, other ingredients on top because the spinach is not really, it's, it's juicing it, but it's not like, it's not doing the job, y'all. Let's, let's finish. But you really don't need this um, to like push the stuff down. The spinach, I still have a lot of spinach in here at the top. Um, so I wouldn't recommend doing spinach or like I said, put the spinach on the bottom and then do the, the rest on top because there's still spinach in there, but it's not a lot, but It's not, well, like they say, it's a slow juicer, slow. They told you, that's what the instruction, I mean, the directions call it a slow juicer. So don't think you can get something that's gonna whip you up some juice in a second. You can do this at night if you wanna take juice to work or you wanna make um, fresh juice for your baby's bottles or you shouldn't be putting juice in your baby's bottles anyway. Um, messes up their teeth. But um, their teeth, I hate when people say teeth and that's what I just said. Messes up their teeth. 
but um if you wanted to like juice stuff or you you know if you wanted to make um turmeric shots or all different type of little shots you can use this juicer for that and do it a couple of days ahead of time because and you can buy those little bottles from amazon um and you know put turmeric in it and ginger garlic so you could do all of that you can you know uh juice all of that type of stuff i don't like turmeric turmeric is actually good for you if you have arthritis it's good for you like cucumbers is good for you if you have arthritis turmeric, turmeric is also good for inflammation well that's arthritis is inflammation but um turmeric is good for a lot of things turmeric is also good for your face like if you have well not even just for your face but if you have like black spots black marks and spots on your face turmeric is good for that if you have them on your body somewhere you can put it on your skin put it in some soap and put the turmeric in your skin on your skin and it'll take those black spots away y'all i'm gonna finish juicing and then we're gonna taste the juice it juice the spinach not so much but the pulp comes out here the juice comes out here we're gonna taste the juice i'm done juicing um like i said if you're gonna put spinach in i'll say put the spinach down at the bottom and then put the heavier things over the top of the spinach um it tells you after you juice to make sure you close this and you want to unplug it just so that you don't have juice dripping all over the place i'm gonna move that over so if you want to know if it got all the pulp out it did i'm gonna pour some in a glass just so you guys can see it i'm gonna pour it in a glass just so you guys can see that it's not like um thick and you don't, there's no pulp in it so you don't have to du like double strain it there's no more pulp in here but you don't have to like double strain it but we're gonna pour it in this little wine glass so bottoms up Wait a minute, y'all. That's kind of good. If it was cold, it would be magnificent. I came up with some some, some green apples, some spinach, and some mandarin oranges. Or if y'all want to call them cuties, that's what people call them. That's what they are called, cuties. But this is good. I think this will send you to the toilet, though. Like, if you drink too much of this, I think you'd be going to the toilet. Let me show you the pulp, like, how much it grinds it down my opinion on juicing juicing to me um is kind of a waste of money because you have to use a lot of fruit and vegetables to get enough juice like i used three apples four tangerines mandarin oranges whatever you want to call them and like two handfuls of spinach give you i mean those four apples and the 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 three apples, three big apples, they were three big apples, two handfuls of spinach gave me about 400, a little over 400, whatever this is, 400 milliliters. I know it's not ounces, but 400 milliliters, 400 liters, 400 whatever. I know it's not liters. I know it's not that. But it gave me a little over the 400, so like 450 or something like that. Um... Or it may have gave, given me 500 because it goes from one to three, four to seven. So maybe in between there is like a five. I think the juicing, to me, to me, I think juicing is a waste of um, money because you're using all that fruit, but you're not getting very much juice. If you buy me a big old watermelon, you probably can get a lot of juice out of a big watermelon. And you won't seem like you're wasting money. You guys, this is a pretty good juicer. So, all the information about this juicer will be down in my description box below. So, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I, yes me, post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.